Hello game fans and welcome to the Steam Chamber as always. Today we're going to take a look at Papers Please which many of you would have heard of already. We covered it a while back with a small interview with Lucas Pope, the game's creator. Now this was a green light game that was in we'd also featured in a green light highlights episode and then ended up taking off in spectacular fashion and ended up being covered by a hell of a lot of youtubers because of the fantastic demo that was available at the time now the original demo ran for eight days of game time now the actual game is being fully released later today and instead of eight days the game now runs for a full 31 days in terms of differences there are now 20 different endings to the game 12 of which are early endings which means you've failed the game and which ending you'll get is based upon the decisions you make every day in the game now the game still uses the unique branching system that makes it easy to replay from any of the previous days so that way you can try new things so if you do end up sort of getting one of the early endings you can go back a few days and carry on from where you were at a better point in time where you can make some better decisions and maybe less let less of the bad people through uh, footage wise what you're seeing now is footage from the first eight days which you would have also seen in the demo as there are a lot of sort of surprising events in the game and the developer doesn't really want anyone to spoil anything that comes out past post past the first eight days of the game which people would have seen already which is quite understandable there is now an endless mode in the game as well which is unlocked by reaching a certain ending in the story mode and it allows you to play one of three game types and four rule sets with an endless flow of procedurally generated people as well as this the steam version also has a global leaderboard and will give you a rank and score now there's a hell of a lot of new rules there's a few new mechanics a lot more new documents and a hell of a lot more characters as well as a general story expansion the game is available for today like i say it's on pc and mac and it is nine euros or ten dollars and around that mark in the uk as well the story mode probably takes around four hours for one of the endings and if you don't run into issues and have to restart at some point earlier on in your career as before there's still plenty to do in this game if you didn't play the demo when it was released then do please give this game a look as it doesn't necessarily look the the most amazing when watching someone else play however it can actually be very interesting and very provocative when you're playing it yourself also it's one of those great games that you're able to just sort of relax to it's sort of quite easy to get into it's quite a simple mechanics and you're able to just sit there and veg out in front of it without having to worry too much about what you're doing it's all controlled with the mouse and it's a really nice game just to switch off to in the evening anyway that is out today Thank you as always for watching the video, please do like, comment and subscribe and please do enjoy the game. Thank you.